Hello everyone, our title is Application of Enzymes in Different Industries. Do enjoy the video. Certain enzymes, protease amylase, lepus, cellulase, mananase, and pactinase, have been used as catalysts and detergents since the 1960s to efficiently remove certain stains. Enzymes have allowed detergents to work better at removing stains in smaller volumes, compaction, and at lower wash temperatures. First, cellulase has enhanced softening effect on fabric due to the removal of the microfibrils as well as color brightening effect. It can also be used to remove particulate soil. While protease is basically used to remove protein stains such as grass, blood, egg and human sweat. For food-based stains, amylase is used to catalyze the hydrolysis of the amylose fractions in starch. Amyloglycosages act on dextrin or maltose units and form glucose units. Some rigid oil stain can be removed by using lepus which hydrolyze hydrophobic fat components into the more soluble product such glycerol. There are several stages in the paper processing. Firstly, starch conversion is done in order for the surface coatings of the paper. The enzyme used in this stage is amylase. Amylases are used to cleave starch molecules to reduce the viscosity. Besides that, they are also used for surface sizing and for starch and coatings as well as not used for dry strength agent additive. Next stage in the paper processing is bleaching. The enzyme used in this stage is homicellulases or also known as silanases. They are used to cleave homicelluloses and fiber, making the bleaching process more effective and improve brightness. It may be able to reduce bleaching chemicals by up to 30%. The stage continued in the paper processing is pitch treatment. Lipases is the enzyme used in this stage. Lipases is used to control pitch and pulping processes and to convert triglycerides to fatty acids which are more stable in water so that it won't be deposited. Lastly the inking stage of paper processing is done. Paper recycling inks and stickies attach to fibers at the surface of the fibers, stuck to microfibrils. Chillulase and homichillulase enzymes hydrolyze these microfibrils, releasing the adhesives. Esterases also help break down ink particles. There are eight stages in rubber processing. Harvesting latex from rubber tree is the first stage. In the pre-centrifugation step, proteolytic enzyme is used to break down proteins in the mix. And it reduces the amount of available proteins in the final products. Then, centrifuge the rubber content. During compounding, rubber antioxidant is used as enzyme to prevent deterioration of the rubber molecules in the final products by heat, moisture and ozone. Next. The formers are coated with coagulant and dipped into the latex to coat them with latex. In the pre-vulcanization leaching, the formers are immersed into a bath to wash out the excess additives from previous stages such as coagulant. Enzyme catalase catalyze the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen molecules. It is used to form oxygen which will convert latex to form rubber. Lastly, Stripping step involves the removal of rubber from formers. In leather industry, there are several leather processing stages. The processing stages include curing, soaking, dehairing, baiting, degreasing, tanning and waste processing. Every stages has their own important role in industry. Firstly, in the curing stage, although enzyme are not directly involved, it is used to preserve hides and skins. Next, alkaline and pancreatic proteases are involved in the soaking stage to remove non-fibrillar proteins. Once cured, the skins are then soaked in water for several hours to several days. The water and surfactants help in the removal of salt, dirt, debris, blood and excess animal fats. Rehydration is also reintroduced. Move to the next stage, alkaline and neutral proteases are involved to improve the wastewater quality. 
after that trypsin and alkaline proteases in baiting to complete the deliming process, by eliminating residues of other substances and loosen the fibers of the skin in order to smooth the grain and achieve a soft and flexible leather. Then in the degreasing stage, lipases and protease are used. It is carried out to remove and to reduce the natural fatty acids from the skin, which could lead to difficulties in the absorption of chemicals. The degreasing process removes excess fat and distributes it evenly. Although in the stage of tanning, enzyme are not directly involved, it makes leather more durable and less susceptible to decomposition. Lastly, for the waste processing, trypsin and proteolytic enzymes are involved. Chrome waste from leather processing poses a significant disposal problem and it occurs in three forms, liquid waste, solid and waste and sludge. When the process of balancing chrome in leather processing carry out it maximizing the chrome uptake in the tanning process and minimizing the amount of liquid or solid chrome wastes. Pectinose increases the yield of fruit juice whereas the acidic pectinose reduces the cloudiness and bitterness of fruit juices. The combination of cellulase and pectolytic enzymes reduces the thickness of juice and ease the solid-liquid separation. Yield of juice vitamin pigments can be improved by mixing xylanase and cellulase. In winemaking industry enzymes that are more commonly used involve pectinose which is used to enhance the natural enzymatic activities and to quickly reduce the mash viscosity. Apart from that, the enzyme carbohydrate is used to reduce the grape juice viscosity and to reduce fouling of ultrafilter membranes. Besides carbohydrate, the enzyme oxidases is used to enhance the fining treatments. Finally the enzyme. Glucose oxidase is used to lower the glucose levels. In beer making industry enzymes that are involved include protease which is used for the conversion of grain proteins to increase free amino nitrogen and to chill proof finished beer. Besides protease, the enzyme cellulase is used to increase the yield of fermentable sugars and to reduce mash viscosity. The enzyme amylase in the other hand is used to increase the fermentability of the high adjunct mashes and to reduce the residual dextrins in the production of low carbohydrate beer. Proteus is used to weaken gluten and this enzyme is for crackers and crisp bread dough. Alpha amylase helps to prolong the freshness of bread. Glucose oxidase is used in bread improving. It acts as alternative to chemical oxidizing agents and emulsifiers in bread dough. Besides that, xylanase is used in dough conditioning. It replaces emulsifiers in bread. Lastly, lipase is used for stalling bread. It is used in yeast raised baked goods. Acid proteinase involves in milk coagulation. Protease is used to enhance the flavor intensity. Lipase is used to impart a creamy texture and full, rich flavor. On the other side, rennet is the responsible agent in clotting milk for production of cheese. Apart from other uses, enzyme is also used in medicine industries widely. Asparaginus is an anti-cancer which is known as anti-neoplastic cytotoxic chemotherapy drug. This drug is used for all acute lymphocytic leukemia by starving tumor cells of needed nutrients and slowing growth of tumor cell. Name for this drug are L. asparaginus or Erinia L. asparaginus and one of the common product in the market is Elspar. Next, collagenase is also one of the enzyme used in medicine industry. It functions to degrade collagen and used to help the healing of burns and skin ulcers. Collagenase works by helping to break up and remove dead skin and tissue. This effect may also help antibiotics to work better and speed up body's natural healing process. Collagenase ointment is the name of the drug and centil. Collagenase centil is available in the market. Glutaminous is also one of the widely used enzyme in medicine industries. It converts glutamine and water into glutamate and ammonia. Glutaminous I, L-glutaminous and glutamine aminohydrolase are some of the drug used. 
Eglutec is the trade name for this drug. Hyaluronidase is a family of enzymes that degrade hyaluronic acid. It functions by catalyzing the hydrolysis of hyaluronin, which is a constituent of the extracellular matrix. Hyaluronidase lowers the viscosity of hyaluronin, thereby increasing tissue permeability. Hyaluronidase increases the body absorb of other medications. It works by causing rapid spreading of injected fluid into the body, which increases the absorption of injected fluids. It degrades hyaluronic acid. Amphadus and vitreous are the example of the drug. Lysozyme which is an antibiotic that applied to protect us from the ever-present danger of bacterial infection. It attacks the protective cell walls of bacteria. Lysozyme breaks the carbohydrate chains on bacteria's cell wall, destroying the structural integrity of the wall. The bacteria burst under their own internal pressure. Lysobacter is the trade name for Muramidus N-acetylmuramide glycan hydrolase.